Oh, 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 no way. My phone can measure things? You know what that means? Oh, oh, oh. Hello, it's me. Me! Oh, we're doing that now? We're recording now? Oh, man. I'm trying to eat. Do I want a bite? Probably not. I just bit it. All right. All right, fine. I'll do it now. All right. For today's video, I actually got an article I found online. Now it's just going to hang in with me. This is, this, this, is, this is some good juicy dick. All right. So it's about a girl who likes a guy, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and read her part of the story. It's just, <laughs> oh, we can't read your mind. Just gonna let you know now, we can try really hard, but we can't read your mind, all right? Hello, I met a guy A, guy A, at school. He's so handsome. I was a freshman, he was a senior. He approached me first. He would always speak to me all the time, and I would get chills on my body whenever he comes to speak to me. Oh, that sounds fucking hot. He told me I was attractive, and we became friends. One day, he asked me if I had a boyfriend. I told him I did, but my boyfriend is acting funny lately, so he didn't pursue me afterwards. Okay, your boyfriend's acting funny lately, comma, so he didn't pursue me afterwards. Your boyfriend didn't pursue you? Like... Okay, you need to clean it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You know, get a little razor. And... Anywho. Um, and we continue to be friends. My boyfriend and I broke up later on, and I was now single. And I wanted to go out with the guy. I never told him I was single, but I was intimidated. I'm used to guys coming to me and asking me out first. I didn't want him to think I was trying to hit on him, so I kept quiet. Alright, I'm just gonna say this now. I would rather a girl grab some big old cojones. Big old cojones, like get a fucking uh, wheelbarrow, put the cojones in there, and just carry that shit around, and ask me out, tell me that they like me, then fucking uh, play fucking games like this. Like, I can't. I can't. God. You know, sometimes you really got to get out of your comfort zone to get new areas, you know? If you play one level of Spyro, that's all you play. You will never beat the final boss because you can't get past that first level. You gotta get out of that comfort zone. You gotta get somewhere else. Ugh. Anywho, let's continue reading. I would always tell my friends how handsome and cute he is. I just couldn't mustard. <laughs> she said mustard. I think she meant mustard. I couldn't muster the courage to tell him I liked him. I was thinking to myself, he probably has a girlfriend. He wouldn't be interested in me. I talked myself out of it and ended up settling for another guy who became my boyfriend that same year. But I still wanted Guy A's attention on me. So Guy A graduated. I was, so I saw one of my friends giving him a hug. I thought she was gonna say blowjob, but. I pushed her off and gave him a hug. <laughs> like, what if it was a blowjob? Like, get the fuck off. Let me do it. Um, and gave him a hug. I was a bit jealous. I still have feelings for him, but at the same time, I still had a boyfriend. Later on, he contacted me on social media saying he had a crush on me since we both met and wanted to date me, but he didn't tell me because I had a boyfriend, which is understandable. I told him how much I liked him, too, and he graduated. I was sad and regretting. I was wondering if he got married, left town, had a baby. I wondered if he forgot about me. I was still in a relationship when he reached out to me. He was telling me he was leaving city, but secretly, I wanted to stay with him. Later on, me and my boyfriend broke up. Again, I didn't tell Guy A. Because I wanted him to come to me. It's all about you. Oh, me, me, me. What? I saw Guy A post a picture of a beautiful fucking hot girl I want to fuck right now. And he told her... And she wasn't his girlfriend. 
I wasn't sure if it was his girlfriend or not, and it was making me jealous and insecure. I sent him a friend request. I, f- I sent the girl. She sent a, the girl a friend request to see what she has that I didn't have. You know, some big old cojones. She had cojones, obviously. Guys, a brother approached me and asked me out. Oh, no. That's... Okay, you did a whole lot of wrongs, but that... You don't fucked up. I'll tell you right now, bitch. You don't, you don't fucked up. All right. Um, where the fuck did I leave off? We messed around and we end up having sex. Guy A finds out about it and confronts me and asks me why did I tell him I liked him and then go out with my brother. I made up excuses. I told him, your brother approached me more than you. He asked me out more and I figured you lost interest in me and I thought you had a girlfriend. I told him I cannot go out with you and it could be wrong. See, I've heard these excuses before. They're excuses. If you want something, you gotta work for it, you know? You can't just sit back and wait for it to land in your fucking dick and just start fucking riding you, you know? You gotta work for it. Little did I know, I hope there's no little kids for watching this video. Little did I know, he didn't have a girlfriend. I know it could be, sorry, I keep interrupting myself. It could be still, you know, um, educational for the little ones, if they understand. He didn't have a girlfriend, but I was afraid to ask him. I felt bad. I didn't know how to feel about this. So a few months later, I ran into him at a hotel. We We talked about what happened, and he told me he still had feelings for me. He's trying to fuck, girl. He's trying to fucking make you as wet as a tsunami. I told him to not give up hope on me too fast. Oh, my God. You literally had an opportunity right there to be like, yeah, I fucking want to fuck you right now. We're in a hotel. Let's do this. You never know what will happen in the future. He asked for my number and I gave it to him. He still insisted on to go out with me and I told him I'll think about it. In reality, I was giving him false hope. I ended up being in a relationship with someone else. I was leading on gay, gay guy, <laughs> leading on guy A. I couldn't tell him I was in a relationship. He was being needy, obsessive over me. He didn't have much going for himself. I was lying to him. He would text me. I wouldn't respond. He would call. I wouldn't answer. He left voicemails, a message on Facebook. I wouldn't reply. I've never heard him again. I followed count his Twitter account. He didn't say anything. I followed his other Twitter Twitter his Twitter account. He still didn't say anything. I wonder why. All right. I haven't seen or spoken to Guy A in seven motherfucking years. From what I heard, Guy A is financially well off and is doing well for himself. Sometimes I wish Guy A would speak to me. I'm wondering if I had settled- He was trying to speak to you, you filthy bitch! (laughs) You pushed him away! I mean, I've had- I'm in this- I may have had a similar experience with somebody who seemed totally legit, totally awesome, and- Okay, they weren't my number one choice, but they were still fucking cool. I'd still totally be friends with them. But, you know, you can't... Their excuse was, um, I don't like talking to people on my phone. I don't like messaging people. I don't like being on my phone. I call bullshit, all right? You don't know what the fuck you doing, and it ain't right. I give you plenty of opportunities to do the right thing. I tell you what to do, and you still don't do it. You know, you done fucked up. It's your loss. Your loss. Uh, Did he forget me? It's like I don't want anyone else to have him. So many questions I'm asking myself now. I'm not sure how to deal with this. Any advice would be great. Thanks. Well, let's go over where you fucked up. Here, I made a quick list. This is from somebody else, obviously, but it's still just the same thing I would say. Guy A asks you out. You reject him for the first time and tell him you have a boyfriend. Understandable. You become single, but don't tell him and expect him to read your mind and ask you out. You get another man. You get jealous when Guy A's attention from another girl. When not Guy A gets attention from another girl. But you don't give him any attention. He tells you he likes you. Give me a fucking taco. Mm. 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 He tells you he likes you. You reject him again and tell him you have a boyfriend. That's twice. You become single, but don't tell him and expect him to read your mind 
and want you. That's twice also. You stalk him on Facebook. He has sex with his brother. <laughs> you become single, but don't tell him. And expect him to read your mind and want you. That's three times. You reject him for the third time. I hope he doesn't have. She doesn't have sex with the brother for the fucking third time too. God, that would be awful. Come here, daddy. Three times this guy asks you out. Three times you reject him. That sounds like somebody from the Bible, does it not? Damn it, Peter. Then when you're single, you magically expect him to decide to ask you out again, even though every other time he's been rejected. I'm sorry, but we can only do it so many times before we fucking hurt. <laughs> All right. And now you want my help to win back this guy. I can't give you the help in good conscience. You need to take a step back. All right. You see the pattern here, right? Okay. You need to take a step back. Um, and realize that you had many opportunities to get exactly what you wanted. But you decided not to take advantage of those opportunities. I don't have any wood, so I didn't have anything else to knock on. It's Mr. Opportunity, and I'm knocking. In the real world, romance doesn't work like the movies. You have to be honest. You have to go for you want for what you want. My advice for you is simple. Next time you want someone, you act like a motherfucking adult. You ask them out. You don't expect them to read your mind. And pursue even after you rejected them multiple times. You don't fuck their brother. You don't date someone else. You don't lead them on. And when they finally offer you exactly what you want, you don't ignore their Facebook, Twitter, voicemails, text. I just keep throwing it in some tomato. I feel molested. I'm gonna hang up now. Bye.